Hey y'all, Richard J. Dash here with my review of my new game. I told you in my last package video that I had a package I was going to show off in a different video. Well, this is it. It is the 16 bit. Here, let's show it without it on right now. The 16 bit Christmas 2011. Made by uh, RetroUSB.com. It's actually. If you didn't buy it, they've been doing Nintendo games since 2008, and this year they decided to do a Nintendo game and a Super Nintendo game. This is basically the Christmas card slash instruction booklet that came with it. It was a little pricey, it was like 45 bucks with shipping, but I, I kind of wanted one of these, I never had it. one of these. This is basically a homebrew of these games, this is a brand new spanking game, as you can see it's got Christmas lights on it. As you hear on your roof, it's not. i show you the cartridge here looks like. Let me get the game going here because it's actually kind of neat. As I'll start the game, I'll pause it. And this is what it does when it's on pause. Which is kind of cool. Very, very cool. Alright, so let's... get into the gameplay here as best as I can I'm still kind of new to this uh, whole filming this way here all right so what you do is you got to collect all the presents there's 15 rounds like I said it's I'm gonna put the link in the description it's retrousb.com this is the uh, Christmas game, the Super Nintendo version. There was a Nintendo version too, but it was more like a blockout type of game. And they were available since 2008. They made one for the NES, and they were available from the beginning of November to the end of December for purchase. After that, they're no longer going to produce them. So that's why I'm doing this video kind of late, because it took a while to get it, because I didn't order it until like December 27th. <laughs> So, and then you can hold down and you can create a snowball. This board I haven't figured out how to beat yet. This is the board I'm stuck on right now. Once I get the strategy down, I'll be able to get farther. I think I can jump to that ledge over there to the right. So I can get up higher to get to the Christmas presents, but I don't know. I only once hit all three of these with the one snowball. see. <clears throat> I'm still trying to figure out the beat this one. Anyways, I thought it would be a neat addition to my Super Nintendo collection. I mean, if you didn't buy it from November to December this year, the 8-bit Christmas or the system Christmas, I mean, it even says 2011 there. And you won't be able to buy it ever again. They're a little pricey, but they also have a bunch of cool stuff on there. I just ordered another game, which is a homebrew called Battle Kid. You might have heard about it. If not, I'll do a review, a short review of that game when I when I get it in the mail. But yeah, so 16-bit Xmas 2011, nice clear, nice flashing lights. You can see that here. Let's zoom out there. There's actually a seal there. It says official seal of quant quality or quantity. Yeah, quantity or quality. I'm sorry. And it actually has a picture of a little seal. And it actually says Super Nintendo right there, like the old Super Nintendo logo. And up there, Retro Zone. But yeah, I thought it would be a neat addition. Kind of a rare game. It's, they make everything, the reason why the price is they make everything from scratch. They mold new plastic, they build the boards and everything. They don't take donor carts and like just put in a new board. No, they do everything, they make everything from scratch. So 45 bucks. It's kind of a neat little addition. It's one of a kind. If you didn't buy it this year, you'll never be able to own it unless you unless somebody decides to sell them on sell their copy on eBay or something. But yeah, so uh, Retro J Dash AKA Frost Brothers out. Check out retro retrousb.com and we will I'll the link down below and uh, stay tuned for next videos.
Thanks all for watching.